recording. Uh, today I am going to talk about the maritime system of voyage. What are what is voyage and what are voids? Voids are the floating objects that we find in the entrances to harbors and estuaries to mark the channel or mark any danger that is hidden under the water, etc. etc. Uh, let us see how the voyage system is uh, uh, integrated worldwide. The, we have what is called the Ayala Maritime Voyage System. Who is Ayala? Established in 1957, Ayala is the International Association of Mar Marine Aids and Lighthouses Authorities. It is a non-profit organization and they control the worldwide all the uh, voyage system. The world is divided into one of the ways the ILA achieved this is by achieving it, by establishing technical committees to bring together experts from more than 80 countries worldwide. The work of these committees is to develop and give recommendations. Now, the regions of the world are divided into two regions regions A and region B. So, region A is Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, the Gulf, and some other Asian countries. Region B is North, Central and South America, Japan, North and South Korea and the Philippines. Now which region I am in? How do you know which region you are in? There is an appendix on page 7, we will be going to that, which shows a map of the island regions of voyage uh, and which region you are going to be and how they go. Because the voyage system differs between region A and B, in fact they are just the opposite between region A and region B. So at that time, we have to worry and wonder where we are. So whichever region your ship is in, you have to check this map and then accordingly refer to the voyage. Now, the types of marks. We have about four types, five types of marks. Lateral marks, this indicate the edge of a channel. Cardinal marks, they indicate the position, direction of safe water. Isolated danger mark indicates a hazard to shipping. Safe water marks indicates the end of a channel and deep safe water ahead. And special marks indicate an area or features such as speed restrictions or mooring area, etc. etc. Now, lateral marks. Lateral marks are the only marks that differ by region. The other four marks are common both to region A and region B. So, the lateral marks are different in region A and region B. The refer to the appendix on page 8 for getting an example. Now, this is a port hand boy in uh, system A or a starboard hand boy in system B. So, it's a conical shaped boy with a cone on top, has a top mark. So, all the boys that are there will have a, the body of the boy with a top mark. The top mark is also very important for us to understand what the meaning it conveys. Lateral marks. Lateral marks define a channel and indicate the port and starboard sides of the navigation route to be followed in a waterway, such as a harbor, river, or estuary from seaward. All voyage is done as you approach a port from seaward. So you take your starboard hand or port hand when you are entering the port. So it follows when you are leaving the port, it will just be the opposite. So if, it, if you have to pass a starboard hand boy on your starboard side while entering the port, when you are leaving the port, you will pass it on your port hand. If lighter marks, so the vessel should keep port marks to its left and keep starboard marks to its right. If lighter marks are unable to be represented by a can or a cone shaped boy, they should carry the appropriate top mark. At the point where a channel divides, a modified lateral mark is used to indicate a preferred channel, often a deep channel suitable for heavy commercial vessels. Suppose there are two channels. You are right ahead and in front of you there are two channels. One is a primary channel where deep vessels can go and then thereafter you have a secondary channel where only uh, smaller vessels or harbour craft or pleasure craft can use. So there are two channels. Now these two channels, there is modified, a preferred channel is marked on one side and a secondary channel on the other. A preferred channel is indicated by red and green horizontal bands on the lateral marker. If a vessel wants to use the preferred channel, they observe the top color of the mark while a vessel wishing to use the secondary channel observes the bottom color. 
See if we can come to this uh, just in a while. Now, let us see how the lateral marks look. In region A, the port hat marks, they are colored in red, all the boys will be red in color. The boy shape will be a cylinder, can, a pillar, or a spark. So, a cylinder, a can, or a pillar, or a spark. Color will be the light if it is fitted in the right time, night time, the light will be of the red color. The light rhythm, the rhythm of light will be any apart from the composite group flashing 2 plus 1. Now, starboard hand boys will be green in color. Again, it will be a cone, a pillar, or a spar. Single green cone point upwards. The light and light will be green in color. Any apart from a composite group 2 plus 1. So anything other than a 2 plus 1 flashes, this will indicate channel boys, the lateral marks in region A. The preferred channel marks to start with. Color is red with one band, green horizontal band. Red with one broad green horizontal band. That is what it prefers, the preferred channel is to start with. And the boy shape is cylindrical, can, pure or spark. And a preferred channel to port is a green boy with one band, Red horizontal with one broad horizontal, red horizontal band, and the shape is conical, pillar, or spark. The shape is exactly the same as the lateral marks. It's only this band, color band, that comes in. The top marks for preferred talent to the left is a red cylinder can, and here it is a single, single green cone or point upwards. This way. These are the top marks, as we can see. Light rhythm when fitted is composite group flashing two plus one. And here also composite group flashing 2 plus 1. Now lateral marks of region B. In region B, it's just the opposite to region A. As we can see, the four hand boys are green in color. The boy shape is a cylinder, a pillar, or a spar. The top mark is a single green cylinder. Light color, but if the light is the, the light when it is fitted is green flashing light. And light rhythm is any apart from the composite group plus 1. Now the starboard hand boy is a red conical boy. It's a single red cone point upwards, red in color, and the light flashing is any apart from the composite group flashing to plus one. Now preferred channel to starboard, preferred channel to port in region B. The color is green with one broad red horizontal band. The boy shape is a cylinder can pillar. It's not a single green cylinder again. Color is green and composite group flashing to plus one. For the preferred channel to port, red with one broad green horizontal band, conical pillar or spark, red green cone point upward, red, the composite group flashing to plus one. The cardinal marks. What are cardinal marks? The cardinal mark is used to signify danger and show where safe water can be found. Cardinal marks indicate the direction of safety as a compass direction relative to the mark. A cardinal mark is named after the quadrant in which it is placed. Due to the unique way cardinal marks are used, the points of a compass to signal safety, it makes them meaningful regardless of the direction of the approaching vessel. Regardless of how your vessel is going to approach, because it is marked in quadrants of the compass, you can find out where safe water lies. Cardinal marks have distinctive black and yellow markings and top marks. Cardinal marks can be used to show the following. The deepest water on an area of the named side of the mark, the safe side of which to cause a danger, and draw attention to a feature in a channel such as a bend, junction, or the end of a shovel. Now, for example, this is the figure, a point of interest is here, or a danger. You have a west marking cardinal boy, a north marking cardinal boy, an east marking cardinal boy, or a south marking cardinal boy. So, based on this, we have to alter the vessel and go. Cardinal marks in region A and region B. The north cardinal mark, it's a color with black above the yellow, that is, the black is above the yellow, the boy shape is a pillar of the spar, top mark is two black cones. One above the other, pointing upwards. The light color when fitted is a white light. The rhythm is very quick or quick flashing, P2 or Q. Now, the east cardinal mark is a black with a single band, 
yellow, single yellow horizontal line. The pillar or spar, again, two black bones, one of, the, one of the other, but in this case, their bases are pointing to each other. The color is white. It is very quick, flashing three flashes every five seconds, or quick flashing three every ten seconds. Now, the south cardinal mark is a yellow boy with black above. The pillar is a pillar or a spar. There are two black bones again, one above the other, point upward, pointing downwards, white in color, and the rhythm is very quick, flashing six plus long flash every 10 seconds, or quick flashing six with long flash every 15 seconds. Now, the west cardinal mark is a yellow with a single broad horizontal band. It's a pillar of a spar. Two black bones, one above the other, point to point, white in color. And very quick, flashing 9 flashes every 10 seconds, or quick flashing 9 flashes every 15 seconds. Now, quick flashing and very quick flashing rhythms, Q and VQ, refer to the rhythm of flashing light. Q is a quick flashing light, and VQ is a symbol for a very quick flashing light. Now, how do we differentiate? Q, flash frequency is at least 50 to 60 flashes a minute, 1.2 to 1 flashes per second. Now, very quick flashing is at least 100 to 120, it's almost double, 100 to 120 flashes a minute. That is 0.6 to 0.5 flashes per second. So, this is how we will make out quick flashing and very quick flashing. Now, there's a next uh, set of boils, which is called the isolated danger marks. An isolated danger mark is used to indicate a hazard to shipping, such as a submerged rock or a wreck which has navigable water all around it. It is directed or moored above the hazard, which means all around the hazard to have safe navigable water. Only at that one point there is danger. So the boy is moored exactly on top of the wreck or the rock. The double spear top mark is an important feature and each should be visible by day. The top mark should be as loud as possible with the spears clearly separated. Now, isolated danger marks, region A and region B. Now, this is the same in both region A and region B as we told earlier. Color, it is black with one or more horizontal red bands. The boy shape, optional, but not conflicting with other marks. The spiller of spar is preferred. Top mark is two black spheres, one above the other. Light color is white, and light rhythm when fitted is a loop flashing two. So, this is the shape. Of the boys, it's either a pillar or a spar, and it's got two black uh, spherical spheres, one on top of the other. So, this is for isolated danger marks. Now, safe water marks safe water marks indicate there is navigable water all around the mark, including the end of a channel or a big channel. However, this mark does not mark a danger, they only mark. They, they are the only mark who has vertical stripes. Now let us look at it again. Safe water marks indicate there is navigable water all around the mark, including the end of a channel or a mid channel. However, this mark does not mark a danger. They are the only mark who have vertical stripes. The color of the safe water mark, color is red and white vertical stripes. This way. The boy shape is spherical, pillar or a spherical top. With, with the spherical top mark. The top mark is a single red sphere. The color of the light when fitted is white. The rhythm is isophase, occurring one long flash every 10 seconds, or the Morse letter A. What is Morse letter A? One small dot followed by a long flash. So dot, 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 dot. That is the Morse A. So this light will either flash a Morse A or it will be an isophase of one long flash every 10 seconds. Besides these, there are some more boys called special marks. Special marks do not usually assist navigation, but are used to indicate a feature such as a recreation zone, speed limits, mooring areas, or cable and pipe lines including out for seabed areas. If there is a cable, a marine cable or a pipeline underneath on the seabed, to indicate that ships cannot anchor there, these type of boys are used. Or if you are in a desalination plant area where they are taking the suction from the seawater, we don't want ships to go and anchor there and pollute those waters. 
So that area again gets marked on the side of the ball. Now the color of the ball is yellow in color. The shape is optional but not conflicting with the navigational marks. It could be a shape of this any odd shape that is not conflicting with the others. The top mark are single yellow X shape. That is called the St. Andrews cross. The light color when fitted is yellow. The light rhythm is any other than, than those described in cardinal, isolated, angel, or say for years. So this is called special areas. Again, same in region A and region B. So this is your region A and region B of the Isla voyage. As we described, region B is the whole of North and South America and Japan and the Philippines. Region A is the rest of the world. That is this area, this area, Australia, New Zealand, India, India, Africa, everywhere is A. So system B, region B is only the Americas, Japan and the Philippines. Now this is an appendix showing the voyage system region A. Isla voyage system, for example, in region A. This is how you enter the channel. You've got your port hand boy on the port side, the upper hand boy on the starboard side. Then you enter the channel, you come in to have a preferred channel to the right and a secondary channel to the left. So the channel is marked continuously. There again you come, go and enter the berths. This is the, the bigger arrow, the thick arrow is for the preferred channel and the smaller arrow or the thin arrow is for the second channel. Now so let's look at how it looks in system B. In region B, it's just the opposite. You have a main can boy on the starboard side, on the port side, or a red can on the port side. The second channel again is the thick arrow and the second channel is the thinner arrow. The primary channel is the thick arrow. Here you have the port hand, the starboard hand, this, what is this boy? Vertical stripes, which as red indicates safe water ahead, that is when you are heading out. Now you are entering the port, you have a port hand boy, a starboard hand boy, an isolated danger mark, then a preferred channel to the right, to the left, and the secondary channel to the right. With this, we come to an end of this uh, topic. Please go through this carefully because voyage is a very very important aspect because at sea, if you are seeing a boy right in front of you, you don't know which side to turn. So from that aspect, learning about voyage or learning about lights of the boys, how they are flashing is very very important. We have to consult the charts of whichever port we are going and care, make sure for every watch, whatever uh, the boys that are going to come up are noted and identified as we pass them and recorded in the moment book. Thank you.